Hello, I'm going to answer some important questions for you on how to program a forward key in key fob. So stay tuned. Hello, my name is Derek and welcome to Hindsight 101, where you're learning about things that will help you in everyday life. Now, I made a video a while back about how to program a forward key in forward key fob. And there were a lot of questions. A lot of them were the same questions, but there were a lot of questions. So I just wanted to answer all those so everyone can be informed. Let's get started. Now, the main question everyone always asks is how many keys do I need in order to program an extra key? Well, that's kind of a tricky one. So you're going to need two keys no matter what in order to program a spare key. If you don't have two keys, then unfortunately, you're going to have to go to the dealership or a locksmith or hard, some hardware stores. But if you go to the dealership, know that it is going to be expensive. So what do I mean by two working keys? You need two keys that if you put it in the ignition, it will start the car. That is two working keys. If you have that, then you can program a third key. If you don't, you're out of luck. But there is one caveat. If you have a remote start, I do not have one. I'll link a video below kind of demonstrating that, but basically is your remote start acts just like a key. So what you would do is you would press the remote start button while you're in your vehicle. The dashboard will light up, but before the car actually turns on, you hit the brake and that signifies your first key turn. And then you take your normal key, you turn that and then turn it off. And then you take your unprogrammed key, put that in to program it. Um, I'll link my video below so you can see that one as well. So next question is, it doesn't matter what type of key you have. So you could have a key that has the key fob attached. You could have a key fob and then another key that has a different type of key fob. It doesn't, they don't have to match. They just have to work. Or you could have a, just a plain key that has no key fob, or you could have a key that doesn't have the key fob attached to it. Any four of those will work. So you could take two of those, any four, and as long as they start your vehicle, you can program them to program a second, third, fourth, how many keys you want. That's up to you. Now that leads into my next question is where do I get my key from? A lot of people get their keys from eBay. Hell, I got my key from eBay, but you have to be careful. You wanna make sure you have a good return policy because the first key I got didn't work. It would start the car, but the key fob wouldn't unlock or lock the doors. The third key, the second key I got, a little more expensive, but it worked just fine. But both sites said they would work with my vehicle. So whatever. In the comments in my video, a lot of people said they got theirs from Amazon and they work pretty well. So you would have to pay more for that, 30 bucks as opposed to 10 or $6, depending on what you get. But a lot of times the eBay, they just wanna sell a key. They could care less if it's gonna work or not, they'll just say it does. So you have to kind of be careful about that. But those are the three main things that people really want to know about programming their Ford key. So I hope this helps. If you have any more questions, just uh, submit them below. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Take care.